beautiful finish. Good job. That was great job. in the morning we just had our first bite how's he feel josh big it's on the bar too right yeah yeah at the bar dude is that a bluefin Oh, it's a fucking log fin. That's a log fin. It's a big fucking log fin. Holy shit, that thing's big. Dude, that's my first log fin ever trolling. Kill that fucking thing. This thing's big. Yeah! Big log fin, dude. That's my first log Woo! fin ever trolling, guys. Whoa! Yes! Man. That is so awesome. Woo! Oh, my arms are so dead. Dude, that yeah. thing's beautiful. Yeah! Look at that thing. Oh my God. Dude, that thing's beautiful, guys. Perfect stick. Wow, guys, that's awesome. So that took us about 10 minutes. That's the biggest long fin I've ever seen and my first one ever caught on the troll. I've only caught them chunking before. Little guys, 40 pounders. That one's every bit of 70, 80. That's so cool. Beautiful long fin albacore. Zach and the guys will show you down in the cockpit. Um, that's what you're eating more often than not when you're eating, you know, albacore tuna uh, out of the can. But um, they're really good to eat, fresh, uh, beautiful fish. Up here we call them penguins. So uh, I'll have the guys show them to you. So guys, up up here in the northeast, they're called Super, penguins. Right? Um, we call them that because of those really, really long pectoral fins. You can see it there, really Look prominent. Um, wow, they kind of when they're coming up you see them spread and it, you know, it looks like a penguin I spreading out his wings so pretty cool. Hold him up Joshy. I saw that blue in the tail. Look how different the shape he is, dude. I like that blue in the tail. Beautiful. So he was lit up. Dude, that's a big fish, guys. Yeah. Fish, Chris, I got chips. Huh? I got some cars. Oh, good, okay. The obligatory sunrise shot. How beautiful. Nothing like sunrise in the Northeast Canyon. Alright, guys, I ran way south. That canyon dried up. Uh, my buddy boat's got four. I just found the skipjack up top, so let's let's hope this works. This was the ticket last week, so, so we'll see here. Usually the elephants are right underneath them. We'll find out. All right, guys, just like that, bam, two on, just like that. Troll right through those skippies. We got two on, baby. Awesome. All right, right here. I got to catch another white one. Ah, that's cool. Nice. Pretty water over there. Yeah. I yelled at Eric. I feel <laughs> bad. And I was wrong. <laughs> Did I yell yesterday? For what? Let's see, pick him up. That's a pretty one. Zach, we got guys online complaining about your gaff shots, bud. Woo! Yeah. Get him, Josh. Get him. Get him. What I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Here, hold you up, Jackie. That's a pretty one, man. 
There we go, boys. We're filling our tuna quota. Filling up the tuna quota. Oh, we got bit right there. No, you know what? Oh, it's just the bar. Oh, it gets me every time, the bar. Oh, you, you bled him out perfect. Dude, look where you got him. Look at his skin flap. Right at the top of the board. Yeah, yeah as soon as I stuck him, he dove. Yeah. All right, guys, so we've caught a lot of tuna this year, so we're going to change it up. I'm going to go hit these pots, try and get a couple of mahi in the boat for a sword bait. Then we're going to do some deep drops for tiles. So we'll check back with you in the cockpit. All right, guys, we're scoping out some new tile fish numbers. I literally just went upstairs to shut off the engines. Josh yelled at me, I'm hooked up, and I thought he was joking. And we're tight, baby. Look at that. We are tight. I got picked up as soon as it hit the bottom. Really? I didn't even Dude, get a chance to awesome. pull the slack back out, and he was on there. Wow. Did you feel bite, or just that? No, I just I went to pull the slack out, and it was already bouncing. That's so cool. All right, guys. A really nice blue line tile. Beautiful. That didn't take long. Uh, I'm That's bait beautiful. Too. So they, and you're missing bait. Wow. I feel like if I left it down there, I might have got more than one. So guys, that's a blue line tile fish. They live in burrows right on the canyon wall in the mud. And that is absolutely delicious. And they are so pretty. Yeah, they got a yeah. line there, the blue yeah. line, if you yep. can see it. Yep. Oh, he dropped it? Wow. Guys, I think we got a good tile spot here. This is awesome. Zachy dropped down with the manual. He got bit. Whoa. Whoa. There's some good fish down there. Whoa. We got him. Zachy's got the manual. Let's take. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Is he still there? Oh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be a couple minutes. Oh. It's ripping drag off. Mean little guy. Okay. Oh, got him. I'm going to keep stopping my drag. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Still there, right? Yep. All right, guys. Yeah. So we are doubled up. You got two, man. Chris, you need some oh. help on this one. Jack doubled up on nice blue lines. Oop. There you go. There's one. Pull the other one in. There's two. Nice, oh, dude. Up. That's a really oh, nice blue, blue line, man. <laughs> and Josh has one. He got one too. Look at that. No? Check your bait, dude. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. That is a really nice fish, man. Look how pretty they are. That's a nice one, dude. Zaggy! Manual, Manny. baby. That's a nice one. You're up, Chrissy. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go mark that spot. But we got a good little spot going here. So these are by far the biggest blue lines we've ever had. I mean, by far. Wow, look at that, Josh. That's a beaut, man. Wow, dude. That is beautiful. Is that your biggest blue line? Is it? Dude, nice. I mean, that's gotta be 10 pounds, right? If not more, yeah, yeah. maybe 15. That's a beautiful fish. Sorry, bud. Awesome. See, guys, we don't just tuna fish. Stay mobile, keep your options open. <laughs> guys, Josh is in pure heaven right now. This is Josh's favorite thing in the world to do. I get to do it's it like, catch tile fish. Like a couple times a year at best. You gotta have conditions, everything. Everything's you only gotta got work out. Off of the tuna That's for right. like yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty tough getting me off the tuna <laughs> fish, guys. But this is this is pretty fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that rod. Oh yeah, dude. Oh little guy. Oh that's probably what you were what you were feeling. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, here's the setup. A little freeway there, kind of like a dropper. And then Josh has this neat little jig thing. Shimano Therese rod. And then he's got the Avet. Down we go to the abyss. All right, Eric, we thought we were snagged. We thought we were snagged on the bottom. 
and uh, turned out to be just hopefully a big golden or something like that, taking a ton of drag. Go ahead, 140 meters. <laughs> There's a little gap down. A little gap? Right here. Yeah. My thumb's getting tired. I'm like, no, you got a ways to go still. So. Yeah. Snagged on the bottom, bro. <laughs> that is not a snag the bottom. Go through them belly, Chris. Oh, what you doing? Oh, man. Derek. <laughs> that is a monster. You're not snagged, right? No. No, dude. Oh, come on, number two. Oh, look at that thing. It's a cow, dude. Man. Yeah, even the top of this horse is a short bit. <laughs> I can't see your face. What? What a beautiful fish. Good job. That was a great job, man. Try my black bag if it's not right there. Wow. Alright, let's see what we got over here when it comes back up. Good job, guys. I was down below trying to get a nap. I heard yelling. This is what all the commotion was about. Guys, that's our biggest pile of any. That thing is huge. Good job, E. Wow. That's a beast. That is an absolute beast. That is a monster of a tile right there. Golden tile fish, guys. Look at those teeth. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful fish. Josh. This is kind of a big one too. Good job, boys. <laughs> That's a lunker. That is an absolute lunker. The boys did a good job without me. They did real good. We just had a marlin free swimming near the boat too. That's pretty cool. So much for getting a nap. Actually, I might go lay back down. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. I'm gonna let the boys do their thing. That is one of the advantages of having the, the salon on the, on the boat. It's pretty cool. Jackie made a mess. Oops. A little tangled. We're trying to go sword, but we need our wind on to cooperate. Josh loves tile fishing. He's obsessed with it. So it's pretty neat to get him out here and, you know, do a couple drops. He's he's super pumped right now. So that's pretty cool. Me, I just want to kill all the tuna all the time. But it is fun. So right there is our electric reel. That's the Shimano Beastmaster 9000. Zach's got a Bimini bimini twist in it all right so you create a double line and then it makes a bimini loop in there and then now what he's going to do is connect that to the wind on leader that's about a 200 foot wind on leader that we buy from this company in florida called called three buoys um it's already pre-made with these wax thread loops so we can long line clip on our our 10 7 to 10 pound lead um, from that wind on, then we put our um, 15 foot liter of uh, 300 pound uh, diamond extra hard monofilament. Um, so we'll see you guys. Zach um, rigged up a couple squids. Uh, hopefully we can show you guys a swordfish. I don't 
Dudes, as soon as I went in the cabin again, we got bit. I'm horrible luck. I just am horrible luck. Yeah, we're right near those pots again. Let me get in here. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat, huh, guys? All right, you get him, me. Eh? You beat him up. It's all about the action of the thumb. That would be so funny. It's all about the thumb action. Look, on the way up, you have beer. Easy fish. No worries. You know, it's funny people online will be like, that's cheating. Oh, I know. That's not sport. Chasing, I thought I seen him hit it again. So I went to drop down to the bottom and the line slacked off. Uh, oh, it did slack. It slacked off. So I was hitting bottom at 650 meters, then it slacked off at 610. So now I just came tight on him. And we've seen a couple head shakes, so, yeah, so we think we got something. I don't think it's very big or it just hasn't waken up yet. Yeah, it didn't pop out of the mud the way it was. And remember, guys, we're fishing in 1,700 feet of water, so they're down there in the cool. Sometimes those swords, from what I read, they won't wake up till they hit that warmer water, so we'll see. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see. I'm so stinking excited. We did three deep drops. We've already had three bites. This is our third bite. Excuse me. Zach's hooked up tight. I literally got relegated to the cabin. They told me I had to go inside. I'm that bad luck, such bad luck, they told me to go inside. So I'm stuck in here, so I gotta listen to what the crew tells me. So we're gonna have to watch from in here. Maybe I'll go outside, I don't know. But they're tight, so let's see. It looks like a tuna tail beat, so it might be a big eye. All right guys, they let me out. We gotta prep the harpoon, all right guys? Let's see. Dude, guys, we are so pumped. All the guys and I are so nervous right now. We, like, we just keep saying we're so scared, we're so nervous. Super cool, it's awesome. Curve. We're, we're new at this deep dropping during the day, so we're gonna reset. We got bit those last two times right away, so we'll reset, give it a shot, go from there. There's pilot whales everywhere, so we're thinking it was a big eye. Um, I'd love to show you one, but hey, that's fishing. the hook on the first two this one we're about i don't know 10 minutes in seems to be coming up a little easier so i think it's a big eye um, or maybe a smaller sword i just hope i can get to kill this thing and show you guys so we'll see um whoa it just jumped oh, it is. It just jumped is it a sword it right is it a there. sword yeah, yeah. Your sword i told you it's right here swordfish baby he just jumped wow i saw i saw it jump Swordfish, he just jumped. Hey, how big? Big. Big? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Seems to be coming up, so I'm hoping maybe we can just get one shot out of him here. Just do a starboard every, you know. Okay, Roger. Right 
right there guys right at the boat we got the weight off gone just like that we pulled the hook same exact scenario as the last one i can't believe it that's two right at the boat well guys we went 0 for 4 sword fishing um this was our first attempt this year uh, i think we had four or five bites um had four tight uh, we actually saw the one jump uh, eric said he got a pretty good look at it and it was every bit of two three hundred pounds uh, you know, it just wasn't our day, but again, it's a learning curve. Um, we got back out on that second trip and we got them, as you can see in the prior video. So here we are cruising back in in nice flat calm seas, no complaints. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. We're going to go cook up that tile fish. Whoa, Chris, he's so close. 38? I'm 36. Oh, 36. Oh, 36. It's a 35. Let me get a picture with you guys. 36 pounds. All right, team, we're going to finish off that really cool trip that we had bottom fishing and catching a couple tuna with just a real quick recipe I whipped up for, uh, for tile fish. You can use this for really any white flaky meat. It'll work great for cod, haddock, fluke, striped bass, um, down south redfish, snook. Um, really any white flaky meat, it'll work just fine. Um, so starting from my left to my right, obviously you need your fillets. Again, this is the New Jersey tile fish that I go ahead and uh, I went ahead and filleted this morning. Uh, you're going to need a couple fresh lemons. Uh, I just have two cloves of garlics that I'll chop up in a bit. Um, I have a little bit of parsley that I chopped up and again just some lemon slices that I'm going to actually put on the fillets uh, and then just some sweet cream salted butter. So all the ingredients are laid out. I'll show you how that we're going to go ahead and prep it before we put it in the oven. Guys look how perfect those fillets look. Nice big white flaky meat. Look how thick they are. That's that big golden tile fish that Eric caught. Uh, what I'm going to do first is just a little bit of salt and pepper, okay? You don't want to overpower this fish. There's really no need. A little bit of salt and pepper. All right, next, next is I'm just going to take real thin slices of that sweet cream butter and just kind of put it on top of there and let it melt right on in. Not too much. I don't want to overpower it. All right, so a little bit of butter. Then I'm going to take that fresh garlic, just divvy it up between the two. This one's a perfect triangle, so it doesn't stay very good. All right, garlic right on top of there. And we're going to take our parsley, put that on there. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look good? Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay. A little bit more butter there. Then I'm going to take some of that lemon and just squeeze it right on top. Okay. I'm going to take some of those lemon slices, put them right on there. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely delicious, guys. Go ahead and wrap that up. Just a little foil boat. That's it. All right, team, I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Just gonna pop it on in there. Guys, so fillets that big should probably take about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. You really just wanna also double check the inside. Just make sure it's nice and firm, tender, flaky. Um, and that's cooked all the way through. I usually don't eat this kind of fish raw. I reserve that for tuna. Uh, so I'll check both of you guys in, a, in about 20 minutes. Cross my fingers. Hopefully it's really good. Man, do I wish you could smell that. Look at that. Fresh, perfect, New Jersey golden tile fish. Lemon pepper butter, baby. I'm going to get into that. All right, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Guys, tons more videos coming up. We've been fishing so much and having a great time doing it. Uh, I've been enjoying Mother Nature. Uh, I'm so lucky to be able to fish this much and um, get out there and, and be one with the ocean. So thanks so much. I'm going to dig in, enjoy this towel fish, and I'll see you on the next video. See you guys.